I like Cytan very much and use it in almost all my projects today. It allows to accurately translate Python to C and then compile the code, accelerating it sometimes by orders of magnitude. But sometimes you just need to make an archive or even one executable and give it away to the user. A controversial way to distribute the code, but sometimes. So let's dig into two interesting projects aimed to do so, PyInstaller and Nuitka. I'm not going to describe how to install and start to use them. They both have nice documentation and installation is pretty easy, so you can do it by yourself. Let's concentrate on the ways they achieve almost the same goal. I will also try to reproduce something like that with Cyton. For test, I'll take level 2 example from my very first video about Cyton and slightly modify it to contain a module. Also, I set up a virtual machine with fresh and clean Debian to test all these tools. No Python libraries and models are installed there. Ok, let's go. First, let's take a look at PyInstaller. Actually, it is not a compiler, but a set of hacks that allows to distribute Python programs without external dependencies. Let me remind you that CPython uses bytecode to execute Python programs. Yes, it is that uh, low-level assembly-like thing similar to Java's one. Do you remember that annoying PyCache directory that appears every time you run your Python program? If CPython does not find a fresh compiled version of your Python program in that cache, it creates one first and then executes the bytecode. So PyInstaller's main idea is to compile Python code into CPython bytecode, copy all the dependencies into one directory and add a so-called bootloader that loads dependencies from that directory. For some modules, it needs to apply special hacks, so it has a list of supported modules. The bootloader uses a DL mechanism to link against the copied libraries in runtime and builds CPython environment in which bytecode is then executed. If you select one file option, it embeds uh, the directory as an archive into executable file and unpacks it before execution. So stunting of such binary can be very slow. And of course, it brings uh, no performance bonus, uh, but sometimes directly the opposite. Its main goal is just to make the code distribution easier. Interesting that Cyton is mentioned in the documentation as a recommended option to actually compile the modules. Ok, let's try it. After we run it to assemble our hello program, we got some distribution directory. A nice pile of files here. After transferring it to a clean machine, it all works fine. Nuitka, on the other hand, is a translation tool, just like Cyton. C code generated by it is, um, let's say, not very optimal and contains controversial solutions. Oh my gosh, there he is! <laughs> Talking about the performance improvement, yes, Noitka definitely does some. But since it works with pure Python only, it lacks the further optimization abilities. For example, integers remain generic Python objects and there is no way to change it. But overall, this project is not too bad if you don't want to mess too much uh, with performance optimization. Let's compile our hello and transfer it to the clean machine. Oh, what a mess. But it works too. So what can be done to pack the dependencies when using Cyton? Now let's try putting all the dependencies into the same directory, just like PyInstaller does. I found out what set of CPython bytecode models and libraries are required to run minimalistic CPython environment. Then the compilation script became a bit complex to put it all together, but it has a simple use-defined configuration. Compiled models are put together with CPython's standard extensions. Also, I added kinda bootloader, the bash script that just set some environment variables before call to main executable. Voila! Let's run it on a clean machine. Still works.
and um, look at the use disk space for all of these solutions. So let's compare the three solutions I tested. PineStaller, no actual compilation, just conversion to bytecode, zero or even negative performance bonus, no optimization possible, but automatic packaging. Nuitka, actual compilation, some performance bonus, no optimization possible, but also automatic packaging. Cyton, actual compilation, significant performance bonus, great optimization possibilities and library interfacing, but no packaging out of the box. You are welcome to invent uh, your bicycle for it or use my one. Anyway, in my humble opinion, all these methods of packaging the code go against the Unix way. Such solutions consume more disk and space and RAM, sometimes even CPU resources, uh, giving doubtful features in return. Dividing the code in the models and the correct dependency specification is the Unix way. Even if different applications require different versions of dependent libraries, modern package managers allow for different simultaneous versions installed. Can be, for example, the alternatives utility or the whole new Nix package manager. I will not cover that topic in this video though. Of course, it's just my opinion from my point of view. Feel free to argue and discuss. If you find this video useful and or interesting, please click something around the video frame. Thanks for watching. Bye.